And about the relationship between a Razorback player and the owner of the other car that was set on fire early Monday morning. Brendan Allen's Chevy Avalanche and another car were destroyed early Monday morning. 4029's Darby Bobby found out what's new in the investigation. He's live in Fayetteville. Today, the fire marshal said both cars were set on fire the same way. Now, Brandon Allen's car burned not too far from here, and you can see where the Chevy Avalanche burned and the flames caught another car and also this apartment you see behind me right here on fire. Eli Mattioli is the owner of this black Chevy Avalanche. Police say they believe the same person who set Mattioli's car on fire also set University of Arkansas quarterback Brandon Allen's car, also a Chevy Avalanche, on fire about three hours later. So what's the connection? Well, Mattioli says there isn't much of one. While declining an on-camera interview, he did say he knew Brandon Allen from his days at Fayetteville High School not very well, just well enough to occasionally say hi. The only connection so far is that they drove the same type of car. To me, it sounded like a bomb going off. The situation was especially scary for people who live here after the flames jumped to their apartment building. Rachel Relic says she's lucky whoever did this didn't see her car out back. She also drives a Chevy Avalanche. Especially when it's the same make and model as your own truck, it has you worried. The Fayetteville Fire Marshal isn't saying what was used to start the fire. They did interview both Brandon Allen and the man who owned the avalanche here. So far, they have no suspects in the case, but whoever is responsible will have to face felony arsony charges. Reporting live in Fayetteville, Darby Bybee, 4029 News. And police say they do not think there's any connection between the arson and what happened last year to Brandon Allen's car when someone threw eggs at it.